Welcome to a quick tutorial on how you can add custom names to your Prison Architect game. Uh, I recently started a couple of Let's Play series on Prison Architect and built a couple of prisons. And before I got started though, I figured out through some modding tutorials how to get into the files and add my subscriber names to my playthrough. So my inmates had my subscribers names as their last name. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, a quick preface before we get into this. I think it's strange how this isn't already like a easily found tutorial on the internet. Like I searched and searched and searched and finally I had to go to like some modding forum or modding wiki for Prison Architect to figure out how to do it. And it wasn't difficult. You'll see it takes, I don't know, 20 seconds to do it. I mean, the long time is typing in all the names. So I want to preface this video by saying this. I don't know if there's like some rule that's we're not supposed to do this. And that's why you don't see any of these instructions and tutorials anywhere. Maybe no one's just taking the time to do it. Anyways, let's get into it. I'll show you how to do it. What you're going to do is uh, in Steam, you'll right click on your Prison Architect game, go to properties, then you'll go to local files and then browse local files. Uh, from within here, you'll have a couple handful of files to look at, but main.dat is what you're interested in. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, you're going to need WinRAR. Go download WinRAR. It's pretty typical software, you just install it if you don't already have it. You probably already have it. Uh, what you do is you go to main.dat, right click, open with WinRAR Archiver. So we click on that and then uh, WinRAR possibly will talk to you about, hey, pay for me, and you just exit it and ignore it. Uh, so you'll end up with the data folder. You'll open the data folder. In here, you're looking for the biographies.txt. You'll double click on that and it kind of unzips it real quick from the WinRAR. Um, and you get a text file. And right up at the top, you see uh, begin names, four name Christopher, four name John, four name Mark. These are the first names. Now, me personally, I didn't change any of these. I didn't change any of them, uh, the first names. What I did was left the, the first names, but changed the last names. So that's where you'll want to change the last names. Uh, so let's say, which that's weird, why doesn't mine? Those aren't my subscribers. I think my file got overwritten. Hmm, that's interesting. Do I have a backup? Hmm, I wonder if an update overwrote my names recently. They did recently update to 2.0, so I wonder if that's what happened. Anyways, so after you do this, you may want to back up this text so that you can easily paste it in. But basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is, if you want like all your subscriber names or whatever names you wanna go by, you basically just want to take it all, erase it, or just, you know, continue on the list from where it was. But all you need to do is take this line, copy it, and put in Blaine, put in Kenai, who's my subscriber who's been requesting I make this, uh, this video. You put in last name, you know, you do whatever you want. That will then become the last name of a prisoner in your prison, possibly. Uh, so let me go back to what it was before. Let me just make a change here. Um, Zane, sure. Uh, so then what you do is once you have it all customized to how you want it, you basically just go to file, save, it'll save it, exit. Uh, oh, uh, this pops up in the background. It says file biographies.txt was modified. Do you wish to update it in the archive? You say yes. WinRAR will now recreate main.dat with those changes you just made. Uh, now, as I discovered, apparently this file does get overwritten. So after you make those changes, you're going to want to make a copy of the text. You don't want to make a copy of main.dat because they probably made some changes to main.dat. So you're going to want to make a copy of the text in biographies.txt and throw it somewhere. You could probably even just throw it in this folder as its own text file um, and just call it biographies backup. And yeah, so I'm now wishing I had known that because I spent a lot of time entering in all of my subscribers' names. So I guess I'll be going through that again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that made sense. If it didn't, leave me a comment below and I can uh, hopefully correct it. Thanks for watching. Adios. Goodbye.